to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores you. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Get boned, John. New friends, old problems. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well... You'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss. Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. No more dumb than me. <laughs> See my hat? I have. What will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. So that's our tiny home. <laughs> All right, cool. Howdy, motherfucker. It looks cool. Pretty much like it. Especially now that I can use my fucking keyboard and mouse to fucking game and shit. Oh, I already have a cold gun. Nice. How did I put away the gun again? Uh, let me see. Q? No. No. That 
That's a that's a that's a map. That's crouch. Oh, it's tab. I'm silly. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. I always There's say the that that's fucking thing. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. He won't bite. Come on then. I'll show you around the property. Come on. is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Yeah! Hello! And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Come on, boy. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. No complaint from me, Miss McFarland. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. Could have been a little more patient, but I digress. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. I bet that there are going to be miles that Mr. we Marston. might get look Mr. better. Farley. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Oh yeah. I will tend to believe that. Come on then. Let's mount Look up at that fucking around. sky. Although it looks kinda weird. Looking at it this way. open and try not to get yourself shot again I want thank you mr. Marston I feel a lot happier someone's along with me I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle well with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition we should make quite a team I do want to increase the sensitivity just a slight mitch. Um, because aiming is gonna be feeling awful. Oh, I'm dumb. This can be below. There we go. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, well, there we go. That's better. God damn it! These rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Come on then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. That did it. Kill those little vermin. <laughs> the rabbit was trying to run off, but couldn't since I have a natural really aim assist. <laughs> I'm actually joking. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Damn coyotes are back! <laughs> I can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston. Hurry, I bet they're going straight for the chicken coop. Great. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Thank you.